Hey, I'm Justin. And I'm Allie. And we're the Traveling Jam. We've spent the last year converting this van into a tiny home. So let's go check it out. This van is a 2011 Freightliner Sprinter. It's the 170 wheelbase, so it's a little bit bigger, so we've got a little bit more space for stuff. There's not much going on up here. We've got a few things. We put this caddy down here just for miscellaneous stuff that we've got uh, nowhere to put. We put our Bluetooth speaker up here because the radio doesn't work, so that's basically our radio. And I think the only other thing we've got going on is the little solenoid switch down here. It's for our battery isolator to turn it on and off so we can connect our house batteries to charge while we're driving. Justin does the driving, so I spend most of my time here. I just like to keep stuff around me that keeps me entertained. So I have some notebooks in this front section. Justin installed a outlet behind his chair. So I actually do most of the editing right here while we're driving and I can actually charge my laptop while doing that. The last thing we have is a swivel chair. So that brings us into the kitchen. I spend a lot of my time in the kitchen, so I wanted to make sure it was very big and convenient. So we not only have a ton of counter space, we have a two burner propane stove, and then we went in for the swing fridge. We decided to get the fridge with a swing door rather than the cooler style. The reason for that is we have gone camping and we've had coolers and they're just kind of a nuisance. You have to dig through and find all your stuff. So it felt a lot more homey having a swing fridge. This fridge has plenty of storage for all of our food and it also has a freezer. This van came with a window on the driver's side, so we just framed it out and put these little curtains that I sewed on them. It's actually pretty handy. We can store our pot holder and our cutting board for easy access. We also have a big sink. We wanted to get a big sink because we both have long hair and we're going to have to wash it in the sink. It also has hot water. We did put seven drawers into the kitchen alone. Like I said, I love cooking, so I wanted room for all my stuff. We have silverware and knives in this top drawer. Random other miscellaneous tools. In this drawer, we have all my spices and a little bit of chocolate. And then lastly, all of our linens. So as you can tell, I did struggle opening that. All these drawers are staying shut with magnets and my little arms can sometimes not open them. <laughs> in these three big drawers, in this, uh, in this drawer, I have all of our pots and pans, our whirly pop for popcorn and other just miscellaneous stuff. And then in here I have just random other miscellaneous stuff. Lastly, this is our biggest drawer so we had to add a child lock onto it because it would not stay shut even with the 40 pound magnet so holds all of our food yep the last part of the kitchen is underneath the sink and that is definitely just in territory so under the sink it primarily is just plumbing and propane the back is mostly taken up by the propane tank but there's also the sink drain and the faucet lines up front we've got our tankless water heater, trash, and the only other thing we've got a little on off switch here for our water pump. Sometimes it gets a little finicky when we're parked on a hill so it's easier to just manually turn it off. That pretty much covers it up down here. But we do have two more additional overhead cabinets for our kitchen. In this first one we just have all of our plates, our coffee pots, some cups and bowls, and then in this one we have the rest of our food along with our blender. Now for the other side of the kitchen. We have some extra counter space. We actually got this counter out of the previous van build, the work van. We just refinished it and it stained it the same color as this one. These drawers are not for kitchen stuff. It's mostly, we call it our vanity. 
There's like toiletries, uh, toothpaste, mirrors, sunscreen, bug spray, just stuff like that. And then the very bottom drawer we made a little bit bigger so we could fit some extra camera gear, camera cases, phone chargers, batteries, stuff like that. Now, would a van build really be complete without a plastic throne? No. So we did opt to put in a nature's head toilet and it is hidden right underneath this. We wanted to make sure it was super simple to get to the toilet day or night. So it's very easy to convert. Just take the pillow off. The cushion, as you can tell, is attached by Velcro. You just lift this up, unlatch, and there's your throne. So Justin has used this and I can honestly say it doesn't smell. So not only is this a toilet and a chair, but it's in the perfect location to where it seconds as a desk. Luckily this van was a work van before we bought it. So it actually already had batteries and an inverter. We've got two 220 amp hour AGM batteries in here that came with the van. And that's where we store everything up here. And those are wired in here to our giant inverter, which also came with the van. This is, we call this the inverter cabinet because it's the biggest thing in here, but we've also got our 12 volt fuse block, our 120 volt breaker box. We've also got three forms of charging the batteries in here. We've got shore power, which is wired under the van up through the fuse. The battery isolator from the, the car battery that also comes up under the floor into its fuse. And lastly, the solar panels, which come down through the ceiling into their fuse, all wired to the bus bar to the batteries. So that goes right up through here into the charging. We call this our charging station. It's got our solar panel charge controller and module, everything like that, as well as our S bar D2 heater. And then we've just got some miscellaneous storage. We call it the charging station, not just because of the charge controller, but we've got eight additional outlets up here that we can use for charging camera batteries, toothbrushes, phones, whatever we need to. Aside from all of the electrical, we managed to have enough space to put in a little cabinet that holds our laundry along with our shoes and some sneaky snacks. Justin also put an outlet over on this side of it so we can charge our phones at night. As you can tell, we have a big couch. This actually seconds as our dining room. So we have a table here that just folds down like so. I'm ready to eat. These rear three overhead cabinets are our closet. I just get the one, Allie gets the other two. And that leaves one remaining overhead cabinet for all of our bedding and sheets and all that stuff. Allie, you wanna show them how the bed works? Don't mind if I do. No, but it's actually really simple to make the bed. We put it on a pulley system, so you just have to ratchet it down. And it's a queen size. It can get pretty warm in here at times, so we did install two fantastic fans. We installed one right above the bed and one above the kitchen. It kind of serves a dual purpose. The one above the bed keeps us cool while we're laying in bed, and the one in the kitchen sucks all the steam out while we're cooking. It's nice having two fans because that way we don't have to open any doors to create a breeze. So at nighttime, we can still get the breeze going. Now to really get this van into sleep mode, I also sewed all of the curtains here. These are all magnetic curtains that also are lined with blackout material. That way no light gets in and also no light gets out. Full stealth mode. While we have a ton of drawers and a ton of overhead cabinets, we still wanted more. So we built this overhead compartment above the driving area. This just holds miscellaneous stuff like pillows, beach towels, bug net, even a machete. <laughs> That's not all the storage though. We do have some stuff in the garage. So let's check it out. Under the bed, we don't have a ton of storage because we do have a 40 gallon fresh water tank under here 
as well as a three-part water filter and our water pump. We did, however, manage to fit a little bit. We've got a guitar, a ukulele, and we bought some of these trunk storage compartments from AutoZone that help us add some winter clothes, folding chairs, tool bags, stuff like that. Hello down there. What are you doing up there? Oh, just sunbathing on my moon deck. Come on up. I love looking at stars. So Justin surprised me by building this beautiful moon deck. So you can just come up here and enjoy the stars. Other than that, on the roof, we didn't have a ton of space for storage up here because we do have three 100 watt solar panels to help charge our batteries. We do have one more cool thing to show you about the van. Come on. Underneath the vanity, we did have a little bit of extra space, so we added a cabinet for some extra storage. That's where we keep our hose, which we take to the other side of the van. Our hose plugs in right here. And this comes directly from the water heater so we can take hot showers outside. So that completes our van tour. If you like the video, definitely give it a giant thumbs up. We just kickstarted our road trip across America, so if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely smash that subscribe button. We upload new videos every week. Bye. We'll see you guys next week. Oh yeah, we just finished our van tour. Woo! Still light out. <laughs> Who says you can't sleep in and still gets up done? Yeah, right. We were very hangry.